Hey guys, JC6 here. Back at you with Venus Right Trials and Tribulations. Taking a drink. Let's see. I'm drinking coffee, by the way. Wall Cakes 2. And we're about to get around the light innocent, but he keeps. He's trying to confess to his guilt. He's saying, and keep, he keeps saying he's guilty. But demonstrates his court that Mr. Mr. Delight actually went to his KB security that night. Mr. Delight, this wallet belongs to you, correct? Uh, yes, it does. I, said, I had lost it somewhere. That's so, right, when you find Wally, you should report to the police right away. I know, you don't understand. It's an important piece of evidence. Evidence? To the light, when did you first notice that you lost your wallet? I would say I think it was on the night of the crime. But no, I still had it when Destin and I went out for dinner. I mean, you guys went to Red Lobster for dinner because she likes she likes spending money. This wallet was found at approximately one o'clock a.m. at KB Security Headquarters. But surely you're not serious. Yes, I am serious. Can you tell by my eyes down how serious I am? Proof that the light was in fact at KB Security that night. No. Huh. This indeed says, romanticists are blind to the reality that lay before them. Huh? What does that mean? <laughs> Why did Mr. Delight drop his wallet at KB Security? A purpose is sir. Perhaps it was dropped by his wife to create a false alibi for a dear husband instead. Sorry, but Mr. Delight probably dropped it himself when he went to use this. He courts to KB Security CEO's office. CEO's office? What's wrong? No staff to come back? The fact is that Mr. Delight entered the CEO's office around 1 o'clock that night. Ugh. Ugh. Oh no! Oh! God, he's just gobbling up the whole... He's just drinking the whole cup. How much caffeine did you get all at once? Order, order, order! So when the theft of the crime owner occurred, the defendant was at KB Security. Looks like a perfect case for the defense. You may see it as a perfect case, Judge, but to me... Oh, he just think all day, he's still... He's still... He's still... Thinking more after all that after all that coffee? Well let's just say that my God of Blend 107 presses me a lot more. Well, what are you say trying to say? Say that they was being blackmailed by a CEO of a security company. But did you actually investigate the CEO at all? Well um no I guess not. Accusing a man of blackmail with no proof? I'm not sure I think of that. I'm not sure what I think of that. At least I know what I think of you. Hmm, good point. I'm not sure what to th I think of it myself. <laughs> you claim that Finner entered the CEO's office. But yeah, at, le at least you and me, at least one witness to corroborate your claim, Mr. Wright. Yeah, I think we kind of have to track down the CEO guy. Looks, I think we need another day to track. Huh? We know we don't have to track down the CEO at all. What do you mean by that, Mr. Trite? There's someone else who could testify. There's a person who could testify that key call was used at 1 a.m. that night. I better save the game here. This is gonna, get, this is gonna take away my whole life, boy. Oh, sh wait. Wait, did, I, did I check the volume first before this? Okay, good.
Who is this youth-looking young man? You remember him, Your Honor? Hmm, not exactly. But just looking at his picture makes the bottle start to rise in my throat. Looks like he doesn't remember the case from two years ago. Probably, probably blocked out that memory on purpose. Anyway, this man was working as a score at KP Security that night. Oh? The question I had is his key card. And that's the key card they use in the building at work. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. You need to get into that room and every time you use that card, it leaves the record. It tells you exactly who entered the room and when. As you can see, there's no need to investigate the steel of safety security. You should be able to discover the truth simply by analyzing this key, key card data. I just took a gulp of coffee. Mm. Well, Mr. Gado, the name of the CEO of the KP Security is Kim Buller. I was unable to contact him directly, but I got the key card data here. So, what does it show? This key card has its own serial number and they leave detailed records of their use. According to this data, this card was used at 1 a.m. on the morning of the crime. That means it can't be Mr. Delight just as Master Master in this photo. Uh, it looks like you're right. Two minutes is even enough time to brew a good cup of Joe. So, so then. Ron Delight was clear, clearly in the office of KB Security CEO at the time of the crime. The prosecutor's office is ready to admit that fact. Therefore, it's impossible for the defendant to be masked and masked. Good job you did, Nick. That's enough. The comparison is close to what smart to the record of an innocent young man. Smart chain with the title of thief. What's wrong, Your Honor? I'm ready to pass judgment before I do that. Do you have any further objections? No, Your Honor. Hmm. Ugh. Well, well, court finds the defendant run Mr. Ron Delight. Not guilty. Court is now adjourned. Over 13, 2.24 p.m. Nick, you did it. You're right after all. Actually, I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. Nicky boy. Well, Mr. Delight, I knew you could do it. I believed in you all along, Nicky boy. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Ah, oh, shucks. Thanks, Mr. Light. I just know I'm blushing. Congratulations, Mr. Nick. Oh, pearls. Got a bad feeling about this. Who, who is this woman? Oh, she, she's nobody. She's just... You're blushing. How dare you do this in front of Mr. Maya? Be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, she slapped me. Guys, she's so violent. I'm poorly. This woman is Miss Delight. Miss Desiree Delight, she's her client's wife. Mr. Nick. Yes? You're even worse than I thought. Go behind the back of your own client. No, no, no. You got it wrong. I never forgive you. Ow. Double slap. Man, she's been watching too much Steel Samurai. Dang. Well, anyway, all's well that ends well, right? I got the sick run back and the thief has been caught. So, right, it's all thanks to Nicky Boy here. Actually, it was you, Mr. Light, that brought us our orange back. Yeah, look at me, should have locked that door before he went out this morning. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, please, you're embarrassing me. If we won the case, then why does this guy look so gum? But by empathy, he still wants to point in 
Where's the honey? I did my best for you, Ronnie. I, I know that and I appreciate it, Desi, but the thing is, can I give the kids some time? He just got a little touch of the blues. You know about feeling blue, right, amigo? M Mr. Gato, what are you doing here? Don't tell me you're not here to celebrate with us, are you? Oh, come on, I just came here to say thanks to my newest buddy. You, Mr. Trite. Maybe you should learn my name before you call me buddy. Well, playtime is over. Early this morning, the body of Kane Bulla was discovered. Kane Bulla? Where have I heard that name before? Is that the name of the seal of KB Security? The body? The estimated time of death was 1 a.m. on October 12th. 1 a.m. on the October 12th, you, you don't mean? That's right, amigo. Same time that cheap little orange was being stolen, the CEO of KB Security was being murdered. So then what are you doing here? Come on, you figured that out already, or haven't you, amigo, or... Have you already forgotten about that piece of info I helped you out with today? What? On October 12th at 1 o'clock in the morning, Ron Delight was in the CEO's office, the scene of the murder. After getting that blackmail murder, he must have been, been in blue with other rage. But what are you saying, brood, in brood with rage? Come on, don't tell me you didn't know. Ron Delight was once an employee of KB Security. He's a professional security guard. Employee of KB Security. Uh, he's a thief and a security guard? Hmm. I guess... I guess he doesn't care if, that he's doing two different professions. It looks like the alibi that saved him from being convicted as a thief is going to be a news that gets him hanged. It's kind of an anti-alibi. No way. Can't be a thief because he was at the murder scene when the murder occurred. No, that that's a lie. It can't be true. Oh, but, but I, I am a thief, I tell you. When the lie, you're going back to prison again. Send a charge that's much more serious. So you'll be tried for murder. What? This can't be. This is impossible. Looking forward to another exciting showdown, Mr. Trite. You and I aren't through with each other yet. Sure, you bum won't back down from the challenge. Never been a coward. Mr. Nick, is there something personal between you two? I return from the depths of hell to do battle with you. At least let me have some fun while I'm here. This guy, who the heck is he? Oh man. Yeah, this guy may be quiet, but he's the most dangerous enemy I've ever faced. Well, he's more dangerous than Francisco Von Karma or Miles Edwards. Well, then time to say goodbye to Mr. Delight. Yeah, it was dangerous. He threw a coffee cup at us this... Was it this morning? Nick, how could this be happening? In front of our very eyes, a client has been arrested for murder. The one who established his presence at the scene was me. Yeah, Ronnie! You can't leave me poor. Having to use my own money for shopping. Arrested for murder on the very same day as Claire Anderson Larson. What the heck's going to happen next? Okay. We are done. Oh, we're not done with case two yet. I guess case two has two different trials. I'm glad we found the owner now, but poor the light got arrested again. It was supposed to be Mr. Delight was in the CEO's office when the murder occurred. No way, hey, I don't buy it. But the one who proved that Mr. Delight was there, it was Mr. Nick himself, at least from what I can understand. 
Just like he did too good of a job this time, Nick. Oh well. well how about we start looking get started looking into this KB security more then? I think I'm gonna head back to Korean Village for a little while if that's alright. Sure, but why? I'm gonna bring the stick run back and have some people take a look at it. That's a good idea, I think I'll go with well, Mr. Sigmaia, you should stay here. I want you two to spend some special quality time together full of love and happiness. Maybe Pearl's so caught in her fantasy she forgot to do some more to solve. Come on, I'm eight, I'm 8 years older than Maya, give me a break. But then again, some people have a, like a 40 year age difference and still married, so what's up with that? Sacred Orange given the pearls. I remember no fighting, okay? She's gone. Okay, Nick, time to get going for it on this murder investigation. I'll go ahead and stop it right here. Take care, everybody. See you guys next time.